Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to make your game go from this to this. There are key checkpoints in this video for each part. Enjoy the video! Before showing you how to get the shaders, I just want to disclaim that you need a Windows computer with a NVIDIA graphics card for this to work. If you don't have these things, you won't be able to use the shaders. However, you can skip to the custom cursor and custom font section of this video instead. The first thing you want to do is go into the description of this video and open up the first link. It should take you to the GitHub website. Download the NVIDIA Profile Inspector and open it up. Once you've opened it, scroll down until you find the other subtitle. Change the first option to allowed. You can close that now and open up the other two links in the description. Download the zip files for both links and drag them to your desktop. Open both zip files and drag the folders inside onto your desktop. Open the Quint folder and copy all of the files inside. Then open the reshade folder and paste them all in. Select all the files in the folder and copy them. Open a new file explorer window and find the program files folder. Scroll down until you find the NVIDIA Corporation folder and open it. If you don't see a file named Ansel, create a new folder and rename it Ansel. You want to delete everything that's already in the folder and paste those files that you just copied. You can close that up and go back to your desktop. Right click the Roblox player icon and press open file location. Scroll down until you find robloxplayerbeta.x. Rename this Eurotrucks2 exactly as I have. When you open it up, you should see the GeForce Experience overlay in the top right. Press Alt and F3 on your keyboard to open up the game filter tab. It should look something like this. All of my filter settings are in the description for you to copy if you'd like. People always ask me how I make my game pink. To do this, I use the colorblind filter on my shaders. If you copy these settings exactly, the color red will be replaced with pink, just like mine. In the Roblox file location tab, open the content folder, textures, and then scroll down until you find cursors. Open the keyboard and mouse folder, and then you'll see free PNGs. For a custom cursor, you need to replace the files with your own images and name them the same thing. Here I pasted my own custom cursor in. If you want to use the same cursor as me, you can add my Discord from the description and I'll send you the PNGs. Open the content folder, and then the fonts folder. There will be a list of all the fonts that Roblox has. To find a font that you like, you can go on the Dafont website and have a look. The font I use is called Sherry. Download whatever font you want by clicking the download button, and it should open up a zip file that you can install the font from.
You want to rename your chosen font Source Sans Pro Bold.ttf as I have and place it into the Roblox font folder. This replaces one of the fonts that Roblox typically uses in games such as Flee the Facility to the font that you chose. To remove fog, open the Platform Content folder, PC, Textures, and then delete the Sky Texture folder. That's all there is to it. This is how your game should look if you followed all the steps correctly. I hope this tutorial helped you, thank you for watching.